I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled The Enduring Application. Isaiah prophesied God's unconditional love and the enduring application of the covenant he made with Abraham, which is unconditional regardless of whether Israelites are faithful to this covenant or not. In Isaiah chapter 54, we gain a great understanding and appreciation of Isaiah's level of understanding about God. Isaiah understood that God is a person, and at a chosen time, God would beget a son a son whose righteousness and obedience to the will of his father would override fallen humanity's rebellion. Regardless of whether they accept the Messiah or not, throughout chapter 54, most all of Isaiah's prophecies have been fulfilled concerning Israel. Yet there is an endearing application to you and I, their descendants. Neither God or Isaiah knew at the time of Isaiah's written record that witnesses would make God's unconditional love for all easily understandable and available to all like it has never, ever been done before. Um, we faced great opposition before Lucifer asked for and received God's blessed forgiveness. At that time, multiple weapons were indeed formed against us, just as Isaiah wrote. Weapons that sought our destruction at any cost. Those angels that had fallen, they now know the truth. We have the opportunity and the honor to witness for God and His only begotten Son, Jesus. We can believe to see the enduring application of God's unconditional love and his faithfulness to his chosen ones upon the earth, as well as all others everywhere. When this evil age ends forever, we will appreciate the new heavens and earth, along with God's purpose and his plan, to, to a far greater degree than those that will be born in the future. Those who have never lived through this age and never believed to see the truth concerning the enduring application of God's faithfulness. His faithfulness so long ago when weapons were formed against us. Until next time.